Welcome back to Blue Jay Bonsai. In today's episode, we'll be doing updates on several of the air layers that we've done. First up is this Chinese privet, the one from the workshop with Nigel Saunders at Tropical Expressions. A few weeks ago, about 60 days after I first did the air layer, I decided it was time to check on it and see if we had any progress. And if there wasn't, I could just always wrap it back up. It looked to me like two little roots were peeking out of the top of the sphagnum, so I decided to go ahead and open the whole thing up. So time for the big reveal. Yes, we have roots and lots of them. Beautiful. So it's time to get out the ironwood ratcheting pruners to make quick work of cutting off the air layer from the mama stump. So at this time, I'd like to give a special shout out to my friends Candace and Emily from the channel Bonsai Science. It was Candace's example of using a tourniquet with a wire in addition to the normal ring method that I truly believe led to the amazing success on this air layer. So thank you very much. As you can see, I've already decided to put the detached air layer into one of my smaller pond baskets. But I just want to trim off some of the exposed former trunk, uh, now root base, while I have this opportunity. And I'm not going to disturb the roots otherwise because I don't want to get accused, uh, like Tony from Tony's Bonsai, that I've knocked any of the roots off. Cheers, Tony. So I'm using some of my favorite soil, the Nigel Saunders original recipe of perlite, safety zorb, and pine bark. So here is the Chinese privet air layer in all its glory, <laughs> separated from its mama and looking good. I just added a little bit of haydite onto the top of the bonsai soil just to hold down the perlite for when I water aggressively. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a little bit of a hedge trim here, uh, nothing aggressive, uh, no major styling yet. Just want to have this uh, tree just settle in first before we do anything too radical. But if I don't do this, I won't have a carnage cam, so I, I have to trim something. So I think that these Chinese privets are really a great tree for beginners to start out with. Um, I mean, they are considered an invasive species, uh, so because of that, um, they're <laughs> really hard to kill. Uh, they take aggressive pruning, uh, root pruning, uh, easy to air layer. So there's something you can really use to get your confidence up with uh, as a beginner. So with the last few stragglers taken care of, we are finished working on the air layer for today. So it's time for the carnage cam. It's a small amount of carnage, but it's still carnage. So now it's time to take care of Mama Privet. I have this a really long shoot here that I'm gonna hang on to for now as I may use it for a thread graft or an approach graft. And once again, everything else, I'm not gonna make any major pruning decisions right now. So I'm just gonna give it a good old hedge prune. 
I just wish I had some nice blue scissors like Nigel. <laughs> but what I am going to do is give Mama Stump a bit of a mommy makeover. I'm going to take back some of the lumps and bumps and try and give her a bit more of a smooth tapered profile. And although I generally recommend a hybrid cutters for just about everything, I found that in this situation, nothing beats good old knob cutters. And with the air layered branch all cleaned up, it's time to move on to this pruning stub that I inherited with the tree. And while we're at it, we might as well clean up this old root. And I think that is the end of today's surgery. We're just gonna let the patient heal up in future before we do anything else major. So I think this is going to be the front uh, in the end. And once we make sure that everything has recovered and is growing well again, we can make some initial styling decisions for the mama tree. And what's better than one carnage cam? That's right. It's a second Carnage Cam! And what's better than one air layer update? That's right, it's a second air layer update. And in this case, it's my Willow Leaf Ficus, the one that I got from Mario. I have an entire video where I did the initial air layer on this. And I actually had checked it uh, a couple of months ago and there were no roots. So I re-ringed it, new sphagnum, more rooting hormone powder, and wrapped it all back up again. And so now today, it's time to check on it for potentially a big reveal. <laughs> I didn't really see any roots, but I wanted to get in here and confirm. So these look like, if you can see those are really small, maybe potentially itty bitty roots that started. And actually that's not even the, the cut point there. Cut point's back here. Same thing, it looks like maybe a few wispy little roots started, but Never went anywhere. I think maybe we'll we'll do one last to try at this. So I'll cut all this back where it's scabbed over, and then maybe we will do a tourniquet in addition. Uh, it worked really well on the Chinese privet, as you just saw. So I know it's kind of like wearing um, belts and suspenders, uh, <laughs> but hey, if it's working, let's you know keep using it. Of course, uh, just like anything, it's always harder to, to do while you're trying to film it on camera. If you think my technique is not so great, well, you are right. Uh, <laughs> but it's even, uh, it's made even worse by trying to accommodate the, uh, the camera. So this is interesting because, you know, instead of scraping off uh, or peeling back bark, I'm sort of peeling back a, a scab. I'm also going to make sure that up here at the top, it's we've definitely cut in, that there's no scab left. I'm going to make sure it's a fresh cut all the way. So since the, the stem root powder I've been using lately uh, didn't seem to work on the willow leaf ficus, I'm going to go back to the gel on this one.
I also got some of these off Amazon. A lot of people seem to have had success with them. So let me see if this size will fit. Ugh, not quite. There's also this, let's say giant size. It's probably overkill. Let's try this. That was to go there. Yeah, that's too big. Too big. Okay, there's also a smaller size, which says the right size for the um, the length. Uh, let's see if I can just uh, open up these holes a little more. Yep. So that'll work. So I'm also going to try using some of this fresh, or at least it was fresh, uh, sphagnum that we collected on the Yamadori trip with the KW Bonsai Society. We'll see if that makes a difference as well. You squish that all in there. So there are little clips in the corner. And I am having a hard time getting them to snap together. So. What would happen? I'll use my pliers. All right, that worked. There's snaps. Here to be staying. So unlike this one here on the bottom, this already had two holes. Since the one on top was supposed to be a snap, there was only one hole. It was quite a, quite a pain. This is it. This one doesn't work. I'll just chop the branches off. <laughs> Same issue, just all scabbed over in there. So I'll just do the same thing. Here are the two new air layers. Final chance. You better work. I'm gonna chop your branches off. And now it's time for subscribers picks. If you'd like to see your photos of your trees, bonsai or pre bonsai on the channel, then send us an email with your name, the name and species of your tree, and any other interesting information. The legendary Matt Brennan sent us these pics of his clump style Schifflera. This is after he's defoliated it and after a hard pruning. Nigel would be proud. Benjamin sent us these pics of ta -da, my favorite Portulacaria afras. These are just fabulous, Benjamin. He also sent this pic of his Acer Tatation. Look at the new growth push out. As well as these photos of his tiger bark ficus. Ghidris sent us these pics of his latest acquisitions, a hibiscus, fiddly fig and this may or may not be a cutting smuggled back from his trip to England. Shh. Kale's been practicing his mommy skills on any little seedlings that he can find around his yard. These are just adorable Kale. Percy Ortiz sent us this shot of his backyard setup. And the famous Bald Yeti sent us these pics of his paper bark birches. Beautiful. Club member John sent these pics of his Don Redwood Forest. It's one year old and started from cuttings. Looks great, John. Future Bonsai Star, 
Levi Leslie, son of Aaron Leslie, sent us this pic of his little bonsai. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next episode.